First, a BSO deputy seen grabbing a student by the neck and slamming her to the floor. Local Sanders reporter Andrew Perez is live with that shocking video. Andrew. This is an investigation, by the way, that's been going on for more than a month. Several different agencies involved in all of this. A lot of people shocked when they watch this video very closely. That deputy walking out of jail just moments ago. I think it's awful. I think it's not right. That seems a little harsh. Say a few words. Not a word out of jail. The deputy taking a silent stroll. The video he's in, though, speaking volumes, according to the sheriff, who says the deputy took down a 15-year-old girl at a school. I think right now, uh, it speaks for itself. I, I can care less why she was in the room. Whatever type of verbal uh, dialogue was going on, it makes no sense and it wasn't necessary. We have no comment. Please get that out of our face. Relatives gathered in court watching Deputy Willard Miller face a judge. Authorities say he turned himself in on a charge of child abuse without great bodily harm. His wife is present. They've been married for 18 years. They have two minor children. He has no prior criminal history. He was a school resource deputy at Cross Creek School in Pompano Beach. It's an alternative school for children with emotional and behavioral disabilities. In the video, you see the deputy texting. A 15-year-old girl walks up and taps him on the leg. It's unclear why she's in the room and why school officials brought her aside in the first place. But after words are exchanged, things quickly escalate. Deputy Miller strides across the room, grabs the girl by the neck, and slams her into the ground. I would hope that every cop in America would disagree with that type of response. Miller was suspended without pay pending the outcome of this case. The sheriff telling us that despite his clean record, behavior like this harms his brothers and sisters in uniform. The sheriff saying he's not going to tolerate stuff like this. This latest arrest comes about a week after BSO had to fire another deputy, Jorge Sabrino, who was caught on camera punching an inmate. Um, all of these things are still under investigation right now. Miller, by the way, he does have a private attorney. Product of his actions were deplorable. They were uncalled for and they violated multiple policies just on the optics. 
and it required us to open up an internal affairs investigation. Now, the interesting thing about this is this was not exclusively something that we discovered as the sheriff's office. Uh, I will applaud and say great job to our partners at the school board and the school district who presented this information to us as they were conducting an investigation totally unrelated to this. And they examined the cameras and they decided to send that video footage over to our agency to examine and look at as they felt as though this was probably a policy violation. And so when we received it, we had an opportunity to take our first steps of opening an internal affairs investigation. We forwarded that information and video over to the state attorney's office so that they can examine it as well. The state attorney agreed that this was something that was going to consist of some criminal charges. And so at their recommendation and looking at what we had, Deputy Willard was arrested this morning. He was arrested this morning on one count of child abuse without great bodily harm, which is a third degree felony. 